In this paper, we introduce NestiNet, a new normal estimation method for unstructured 3D point clouds using a convolutional neural network and a new representation called MOOPS. Normal estimation for unstructured point clouds is a fundamental problem in shape analysis. Adding the normal information to the point cloud data can significantly improve various vision tasks such as classification, segmentation, and surface reconstruction. Classic methods for normal estimation first extract a subset of points within a given radius and then fit a parametric surface to each point and its neighbors. PCA, for example, finds an orthogonal basis that best represents a given set of points and essentially approximates a local plane. Selecting different red eye may result in different normal estimations. Therefore, the first challenge is how to select the best radius. Can we learn the best radius? Recent advances in deep learning for point clouds, like the 3 dmfv representation, were able to solve the major challenges associated with feeding point clouds into a convolutional neural network, mainly the lack of a grid structure, point order, and number of points. This enables the development of data-driven algorithms for normal estimation. Given a point cloud, we first extract several point subsets around each point for a given set of red eye, called scales. Then, we convert each scale subset into its 3D MFV representation. We name this new representation Multiscale Point Statistics, or MOOPS for short. We then feed each scale into a different 3D CNN expert network to estimate the point normal. In order to estimate which expert estimates the normal most accurately, we feed the entire MOOPS representation into a scale manager network which outputs a value that is correlated to the probability of each expert to predict the correct normal. This is a mixture of experts network. The output normal of the point is the normal associated with the expert with the highest score. We name this normal estimation pipeline NestiNet. We train the network using a mixture of expert loss, which encourages specialization of the different expert networks. Note that while at train time, all experts perform the normal estimation computation, at test time, only one expert performs the computation. We quantitatively evaluate the performance of our NestiNet on the PCPNet synthetic dataset which includes point clouds with different levels of noise and different densities and achieves state-of-the-art results in all categories but one. Qualitatively, we can see that as the level of noise increases, the normal general direction is maintained, but fine details are lost. Additionally, we use a heat map to show the angular error between estimated and ground truth normal for different normal estimation methods. It can be seen that higher error values occur near corners and regions with high curvature. We draw some insight into the network resource distribution by assigning a color to each expert and visualize the point cloud with the color of the expert used for estimating the normal. It shows the expert specialization in different regions. For example, experts 1 and 2 specialize in points in regions with high curvature. Finally, we test our method on scanned indoor data and show that given a train set with a similar noise fingerprint, we are able to achieve good results. Thank you for watching. For code and tutorials, please visit my website. For more results and analysis, please refer to the paper. Links in the description below.